Oh my god, just look at this moon. It is so gorgeous. everyone and welcome to my new video. I am continuing to travel around Canada and right now I am on the north of Quebec in kind of mountain area. I think it's some kind of sky resort. There is uh, I think it is some kind of sky resort. I will put a name of the area here. And what can I say? I am in love in this place, literally. When I travel, I, in most of the cases, use Airbnb service. And I found this cabin many, many months ago, and I put it in my wish list, but I wasn't able to rent it out because it was totally booked until autumn. The whole summer it was like fully booked. And um, I was waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and finally in the autumn I was able by lucky accident to book a couple of days in this amazing area. I traveled quite a lot. I traveled around Europe a little bit, around Ukraine a little bit, around Canada a little bit um, and uh, I think that this place is one of my favorite among all of the amazing places I've been to. And uh, if I will dig deeper, I would say that this is my favorite place. It is really on the first, on the top of all of my favorite places. Canada taught me one very interesting thing. The way you are building houses or cabins here in Canada is absolutely different from how we do it in Ukraine. In Ukraine, houses are mostly consist of, of bricks uh, or something very heavy and very solid. And we tend to build houses for really, really many, many years in a row. Because we have that mentality that if you build a house, it should last like 500 years or something like this, and your grand-grand-grandchildren should live in it. Here. People build their houses for about like six months and I think houses like this cabin can be built maybe even quicker, I don't know. And you already have everything you, you ever need in this small, incredibly cozy cabin. You have internet, you have all of the supplies, you have uh, appliances, you have water, you have uh, electricity, you have everything and it is super cozy. with one of the most incredible views I ever experienced and you've built it like probably like for a couple of months that's very interesting I wish we could like learn this from Canadians I really like this system zero idea how I will be having children in the future if I cannot say no to a cat that wants to eat a grass outside. No Morty, don't do this. No, 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 I call him Morty Grills because he is surviving on the nature during the last two days. magnificent thing about this cabin that it is situated in 30 minutes from the old town Quebec. I was driving 30 minutes. 
I think to the like big supermarkets and all of the amenities you need to drive even less like 20 minutes maybe maybe 15 minutes like and uh, there is a small town two minutes from here on a car super convenient you're like 30 minutes from old town and you are literally in wilderness and you see the beautiful view from the hill i am just speechless but let me show you what is inside because it is like Mwah! Let me show you the bedroom. Look at this view from your bed. Imagine that you are waking up, you are opening your eyes and you see this. Like, I don't know if you understand the beauty of the view because camera doesn't show it at all. Like, I even like, I cannot describe you how beautiful it is when you are looking at this with your own eyes. So, this is the bedroom. We have small windows here and uh, huge windows here and window here. It is very small. Let me show you the second part. Uh, the second... Uh... Oh, here's me. So, little shelves, I'm basically storing their pillows, which I don't use, and uh, napkins, like, I understand why they are there, and uh, here is, like, from this window, you have view on the forest, which is very mysterious, very creepy, here you have view on the forest, and uh, here you also have you on the forest, which is, as I said, incredibly creepy. And this is just beyond of any... Oh my god, I hope you see me clearly. Okay, so... Like, I was laying in this bed last night and was just staring in the window. I usually watch kind of movie in bed or YouTube video or something like this, but this time I was just staring in the window. And uh, it was so cathartic, I don't know, but I really came up with a couple of cool ideas for, uh, for example, for the game. And uh, I uh, was thinking about poster for the game because you need a poster when you are uploading your game on steam so uh i came up with the idea for the poster i wrote down a couple of ideas for the game itself i created like one of those ideas that i write down in my notebook for maybe future projects something like movies or games whatever uh and it was like super cool it was just a place where you can... I know, this place simulates my imagina imagination. I love just, like, being here because I feel like I can create here. Uh, not only for my OnlyFans or Instagram, but for my other projects. And this is very cool. I really love this. Like, this is literally one of my favorite places. This is my favorite place. So, a couple of final thoughts. Um, this room feels like the dream room. If I would be here, if I would have an experience living in this room for like two days when I was 15, like it would be my brightest memory probably. 
because you feel like it's a a teenage dream to live in kind of watchtower. It feels like living in watchtower here, literally. And uh, you just feel this adventurous vibe here. You are in uh, like safety in a very cool, small, vibing, cozy room. And you have view from all of the windows so you can watch anything creepy outside. You can watch wild animals if there are any in the area. You can watch an incredible view. You can imagine like you are stuck in the watch tower and like there is something evil somewhere there behind the window and you need to survive till the morning. It just feels like adventurous time. So yeah, I really love this room very much, incredibly. Also, yesterday I caught myself thinking about a very creepy thing. I was just laying in this bed and I just thought for one second that what if I wake up in the middle of the night and will see someone or something peeking out from somewhere here or here? I am on the second floor, so it's like pretty big uh, height here. So it would be like incredibly creepy to understand, to realize that something is able to peek out from here. Something is on the roof or tall enough to peek out from the uh, from this window. Like something reaches up to the second floor, and this thought terrified me kind of it creeped me out and uh, like I have my I have Morty which is a detector of creepy stuff so if, if something creepy is happening like that super creepy little case with the uh, with the skinwalker Morty will detect it and I will understand that something is happening he was sleeping right here all night long so yeah but I had that thought for one second and it creeped me out really very much oh my god maybe it's not the best place for the light I don't know where to put it okay I think it will work so I uh, also wanted to mention a couple of words about my visual novel so things things are going way slower than I would like them to go. At uh, this moment, I think that I already have 95% of artworks and music and different things for the trailer. And uh, I wanted to for trailer to be ready on the Halloween. But this is not possible because we still have to finish the poster and I stuck with the poster for I was I was not knowing what poster would be great for the novel and I was struggling with it for about a few months like I was thinking about so many ideas and I was just rejecting all of them because they looked like really too simple for me or too cliche or like anything like that so yesterday i came out i came up with um this idea for the poster i think it it can work pretty good if we will succeed in painting it as i imagine um and uh, i hope that when poster will be ready I will be able to release the trailer i will be able to upload my visual novel on steam like it will not be a visual novel it will just that uh, i will be able i will be able to create account on steam upload um trailer there and short description of the game and a couple of screenshots and uh, i think it's kind of decent start especially considering how little time i have for this but as for the like 
as for the project itself um me and artists already finished majority of artworks for locations majority of sprites of the characters and we have um we have already majority of music which will be in beta version of the visual novel so uh i really hope guys that it will be ready as soon as possible i wish i could work on it more but unfortunately i have very limited time so and uh, sometimes i have a free minute but you cannot just quickly concentrate on a different project so yeah it's it's kind of complicated but we work hard and it will be a really really good project i hope you are waiting for it Okay guys, so it's evening here, very calm one, the fireplace almost burned out, uh, Morty is sleeping on the second floor, he has his own room, it is super cute, I will show you it in the end of this video, it is hilarious, uh, and yeah, I'm having a calm, a relaxing evening, I wrote down a couple of my ideas i did some editing so something like this thank you so much for being with me thank you so much for watching me and i will see you in the next video okay i am going to show you morty right now okay oh no he is not here okay so, I don't know why, but he was sleeping on this bed on the second floor for about two nights, two evenings, sorry, because at night he sleeps with me. So, he goes up uh, using this cute ladder and he was sleeping right there and... Oh, here is Morty! Yeah, he's very tired. He was walking today very, very long. He had a very long walk and he is very, very tired. Morty, you are already prepared for sleep, right? This is, this is how, sorry, this is how exhausted cat looks like. A cat who was wandering around and walking and like watching different wildlife this is how exhausted cat looks like and like exhausted and happy morty